What's up guys, this is Tech It Out, and today I'm going to be showing you how to jailbreak iOS 9.3.5 using a PC or a Mac. So, let's get started. So first off, if you want to know what all devices ran iOS 9.3.5, I will have listed them down in the description below. And if you're not sure what iOS version you're running, you can go into Settings, General, and About, and it will show the iOS version right there. As you can see, we're running iOS 9.3.5. So that means that we are able to jailbreak this device. Alright, so before we get started on what to download on your PC or Mac, first you're going to need a USB to Lightning cable and plug that into your Mac or PC and then go ahead and plug that into your iDevice. You will also need a version of iTunes if you are on a Windows PC. If you're on a Mac, it should already be installed. Just make sure to go ahead and trust the computer with your iPad. Alright, so now that iTunes is on your computer and your iDevice is plugged in, go to the first link in the description. That will take you to Sideloadly. This is the app that will actually sideload the apps onto your iDevice. So now you just need to download it for the operating system that you have. Okay, now go to the second link in the description to the Phoenix Jailbreak. This is the IPA that we will be sideloading and go ahead and hit download. Now it's possible that, especially if you're on a Windows PC, uh, Windows Defender might flag it. It might not. It's happened to me before. But if it doesn't, you're all good. Uh, even if it does, you should just be able to ignore it. So now we have our IPA, I'm just going to leave that on the desktop, and go ahead and open up the Sideloadly DMG. Okay, this is all I need to do. Alright, and now we have Sideloadly installed on our computer. We can go to Applications, and here it is right here. So if you get this message, you need to go into System Preferences. You can click OK. Then you go to Security and Privacy. And then you click Open Anyway. And Open. So now you should be able to open Sideloadly on your Mac computer. So now we can just grab our IPA, drag and drop, and then you type in your Apple ID. Okay, I'm going to blur that out, but here's the iPad as you can see, and I'm going to hit Start. Now it's going to ask for your Apple ID password. Alright. So now it should be loading the app onto our iPad here. We'll give it just a second. And there it is. As you can see, we have Phoenix on our iPad. Alright, so just for now, we are done with our computer. Actually, for the rest of the video, you won't need it anymore. However, the Phoenix app will expire every week, which basically means you'll just have to reinstall it. Alright, but before we can open the Phoenix app, if you notice here, it won't let us open it. So we have to go to Settings, General, and then scroll down until you see Device Management. You should see your Apple ID right here. Hit it, click trust, trust again, give it just a second. Alright, and now you should actually be able to open the app. Alright, so as you can see it says your iPad 2,5 is not jailbroken, so now we just hit prepare for jailbreak. Now it is possible that this app will crash a few times. That did used to happen from time to time. Now we just hit proceed with jailbreak. Now we hit begin installation. Hit use provided offsets. If uh, for whatever reason it doesn't work, you can hit specify custom offsets. I'll show you how to do that in just a moment. It's totally normal to get this storage almost full sign, uh, even if your storage isn't almost full. Now your device should reboot. All right, so the iPad is booted up here. And as you can see, we have Cydia on the home screen. And there we go, we are now jailbroken on iOS 9.3.5. Alright, so one thing to keep in mind is this is what's called a semi-untethered jailbreak, meaning anytime you reboot the device, the jailbreak will not be active. Of course, you can still use your device normally, it just won't be jailbroken. I just restarted the iPad just to show you, Cydia won't boot up. So anytime that we want to fix this, you go back into the Phoenix app and you click Kickstart Jailbreak. 
so we can use the provided offsets but for some reason if it just crashes what we have to do is specify custom offsets okay so to set custom offsets keep in mind you can skip this part and just hit use provided offsets but in case that doesn't work you can go down here to where it says offsets and you will see the offsets per what device you have so I have an iPad mini so I'm gonna hit this first one and then you literally just select all copy it and then go back to the Phoenix app it specify custom offsets and paste right there so now I just hit done and save and now it should jailbreak your device um, once again, I know I've said this, but keep in mind, you may not ever have to set a custom offset. This is just for some reason if when you hit use provided offsets, the app just crashes and it doesn't work. So after this, the device should respring and Cydia will be working again. Alright, and as you can see, after the respring, Cydia is back up and running. Alright guys, so congratulations, you've now jailbroken your iOS 9 device with a PC or a Mac. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down in the comments below. Uh, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any future content. Uh, but again, thank you so much for watching. I'll catch you in the next one.